Okay, next up, I have a technique with um, Pam Pastels. Um, I kind of found on my own. I was wanting to use this, incorporate as many of the past Pam Pastels into my work as possible, but um, it, it doesn't have a painty consistency. It's a pastel consistency. So what I'm going to do is show how I am able to do my splotchy painty technique. You could even write with this if you wanted. So over here on my craft mat, and yes, I have all kinds of gold glittery paint over here, so ignore that. We're not looking at that. It's it's ugly. We don't want to look at the, the gold and glitter. Um, I'm going to dust some of the pan pastel onto my craft mat. And this is a good way to blend them, too. And I'm just going to take this, and it's going to... um, This is a little too watery for me, so I'm going to add a little more. I want it to be almost sort of a pasty consistency, but not so much that when I try to splatter, it won't splatter. It sticks. So here's my splatter. And this shows my splatter technique that I use. I just go over the top. And then I'm going to blend it together with some purple and see end up with the darker color here. It's sort of muddy, not the prettiest of colors, but it makes a nice deep eggplant color. I'm going to go back over the top with that with splatter. And I would also be able to, if I want to paint, I could paint almost like with watercolor. And that's simple as pie, easy, fun, and it looks great. Thanks a lot.